Hey guys, it's Rhino. I just wanted to kind of make a video updating where I'm at and uh, what I've been doing and how I've been doing. Um, I, uh, I know a lot of people who are going through weight loss suffer with disappointment and suffer with depression and it, it all, you know, goes with the, goes with the territory. You know, you're, you know, some people don't eat because they're stressed or because they're depressed. I was, I'm definitely one of those people. Um, I'm a, you know, lonely eater. I'm a depressed eater. I'm a stress eater. I'm a, you know, just about any excuse I can, I can muster would, would be why I would shovel food into my face. Um, thankfully that it hasn't been the case the last couple weeks, but just being disappointed because I know I can't do, you know, miles and miles on end of walking or riding a bike or working out or whatever. It's tough to start from the beginning. Um, you know, when I lost weight previously, when I ended, I was walking, you know, 10 miles at a time and, you know, biking 15 miles. And, and although that may not sound like much to some people, I was still 300 pounds. Um, so, you know, that's, to me, that's a big deal. You know, as somebody that, who never ever walked that far, you know, and, and never rode a bike that far and, and whatever, you know, I rode from my house in Oakville down to the, the you know, St. Louis Arch, the Arch Grounds, and sat underneath the Arch Grounds and just looked and then rode back home. Um, to me, that's a big deal. Um, uh, and just knowing that I'm not there is depressing. Um, knowing that, you know, uh, I haven't dealt properly, probably, with what brought me to where I am. Not that I'm blaming failed relationships or issues with my family or, or whatever with, with my weight, but it doesn't help. Um, and just not dealing with that the way I should. Um, now, in saying that, am I going to go see somebody? No, I'm going to deal with it myself because that's, you know, that's kind of how I was raised. I'm going to go to the hospital or going to go to the doctor when I'm um, dead, kind of. I mean, it may not be the healthiest way to do it, but, you know. Uh, but uh, I just, I really, uh, you know, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to uh, to work out better. I'm gonna go back to my, you know, going to the gym at 4 a.m. Um, when it's empty, what's you know, relatively empty. Um, and if I can't go, if I can't do that, I'm gonna walk. Um, and I'm going to try to walk more and more each time, but my eating hasn't, hasn't failed. Um, I've been, you know, doing everything I can do with that. Um, using the card manager app, which is a great app. Um, there's some others. I think my fitness pal is what some people use. Um, I do use, you know, my, the, uh, the Samsung smartwatch and my, my phone. Uh, tracks a lot of stuff as well so uh, just staying on top of eating I mean that's where a lot of the the change is going to come from is your diet um, you can work out and do whatever but if you eat like crap constantly you're probably still going to gain weight I figured it out and I posted this on Facebook a while back but I was talking with a friend of mine and figured out kind of what I was eating and and on average, the, it was about 10,000 calories a day. Now, I'm not a super active person. You know, I sit at a desk, you know, or, or walk hallways for, you know, eight hours a day and I get home and, you know, I might, I might go for a walk, you know, or, or go to the gym for a little bit. But, you know, that's, I'm not, you know, I'm not outside, you know, digging ditches or, you know, throwing concrete blocks or anything like that. So, you know, if I get, if I get 2000 steps before I get off work, that's, 
to me that's that's a, that's a busy day um, so any you know most of my steps are gonna come you know after work or on the weekends but um, yeah it's about 10,000 calories uh, and I have since been doing this the carb manager app says my calorie intake should be about almost 3,000 I'm guessing because of my size more than anything and I haven't been over 2,500, 2,600, you know, uh, at all, to be honest with you. Uh, not that I can remember. I went over my proteins a couple times, um, but that's that's it. Um, one of these days I'll, I'll put up a, a screenshot of what my macros and everything are, but I think my food... Food's been doing pretty well. I've uh, I've had some of the keto uh, uh, symptoms uh, as far as going to the bathroom a lot, uh, a lot. Uh, the keto breath that's that's real. That is that is uh, that's I just exhaled at the camera. Sorry if I knocked anybody out. Um, that's horrible. That's horrible stuff. You gotta get some sugar-free gum or something. Um, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, but uh, just don't get discouraged. Um, it's real easy. It's real easy to get knocked off course, and then you have to reset, and that's a pain in the ass. Um, you gotta find wins where you can. You know, if you if you gain a pound or you gain two pounds, but you can you can walk a little further, or lift a little bit more, do more push-ups, or or you don't get winded as easy. Um, that's a win. You know, um, you, know, you gotta look at it like that. If you can, you know, if you can put something on that you couldn't wear, you know six months ago or whatever that's a win you gotta look at it like that um uh as far as that goes i don't really know much else to say i did i don't really go out that terribly often i'm pretty much of a homebody on saturday i went to see uh comedian uh, jason nash he's a uh, part of the vlog squad does a bunch of stuff like um, weekly vlogs and whatever with a guy named David Dobrik and he he's a he's 46 45 something like he's a little older than me but he's a funny funny dude um, and just I watched a bunch of his stuff and he went through some weight loss and uh, granted he wasn't that big but still you know there's people on these keto forums that you know I look at and I think, uh, what are you, what are you trying to lose? Like, you know, to me, uh, you know, I look at somebody that's, you know, 140 pounds, 150 pounds, and think they don't really have anything, you know. But it's all in your head. Um, I can see myself pretty much forever seeing a mental image of me being a big guy, and I think that's. That's kind of part of the reason why I did the the tattoo was, you know, just to remember. You know, if I if I should I ever buy crap food again and I ever reach for it, you know, I'll reach with my right hand and I'll remember. Hey, uh, don't do that, fat ass. Um, but uh, I've just been still watching a lot of videos, reading a lot about how to do this, and and I I, I think learning about this never stops. I don't think of it as a diet per se. I think of it as a lifestyle change because everything you do is different. I, oh, I went out to eat. Part of the thing with uh, Saturday was I went out to Red Robin. And uh, in retrospect, probably not the best idea because they're the, the bottomless fries or whatever it is, which I didn't even think about. But and I didn't look at the menu. Apparently, they actually have some keto-friendly options there. But I ordered a bacon cheeseburger just by itself because I don't. I'm not that guy that wants to 
you know, hold this and add this and hold this. Pulled it off the bun and ate it, you know, fork and knife and ate it. And uh, I, they still brought me a cup of fries and didn't didn't touch any of it. I didn't, uh, I, it was tempting. I've really missed kind of crappy food, but you know, it is what it is. I had 42 years of crappy food. You know, it's time to time to wake up a little bit. Um, but yeah, just, you know, I'm hoping that somebody can watch these and, and identify. You know, I'm hoping somebody can watch these and, and know that they're not alone. That they are, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to lose or, you know, having issues or whatever. And they, you know, there's support out there. You know, if I can, if I can eat like this and, and, you know, do what I need to do, you can do it too. Um, but anyway... On to the main reason why I'm doing this video is I went back to the scale today and uh, weighed in, went to the same place, and really had I'm telling myself since Saturday that I was going to do it Monday. Um, had really was trying to tell myself today that I had no preconceived ideas to how much I was going to lose. I know I have the goal for, you know, end of January, which I'm still going to stand by. Um, but went to, the, went to the quick weight loss place today and weighed myself on their scale. And I think this will probably be the last time I have to do it there because I'm right at 500 pounds. So six, a little over 16 pounds off. That is, I mean, I know I've got a ways to go, but to me, that's awesome. In one month of, you know, moderate activity, not as much as I used to be able to do, you know, nowhere near as much as what I know I can do, um, and just eating, eating the way I need to eat, you know, and I was never much of a soda guy, so I can't like attribute it to that. I'm not a huge drinker, so I can't, you know, uh, you know, attribute it to to you know massive, you know, alcohol intake that I don't do anymore. But just eating better, eating right, eating clean, you know, trying to stick to things that have, you know, three or four ingredients as opposed to, you know, you need a doctorate to understand the ingredients list. Um, that's all I can attribute this to. So when I can work out better and I can, you know, have more stamina, I, I expect that it's going to, it's going to jump. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to lose 40 pounds next month or anything like that, but, you know, I'm expecting that it, it's going to jump. Um, I've been graciously invited over to some friend's house for Thanksgiving. And even thinking about that, thinking about what I can and can't eat and what I will and won't eat. And, and you know, um, you know, just going through that and trying to collect recipes and trying to, to make things and figure things out. And, and it's, it's interesting. Um, but anyway, I, uh, I'm going to end this by asking you to please subscribe if you're new here. If you're not, uh, you know, go ahead and hit that like button if you would. And uh, maybe leave a comment. You know, I'm not, I'm not asking for you to, you know, you know, uh, stroke an ego or anything like that. But, you know, it all helps. Um, I do kind of want to grow this channel. So, you know. I think it'll help, um, but and I did uh, shave a little bit, um, so 
anyway, I'd appreciate it. Um, and I appreciate everybody following this page and, and uh, following my YouTube journey and whatnot. I've, I've just begun. This is uh, pretty much one month in. So uh, I'm not upset at where I'm at. Um, I'm dealing with other stuff that's all there, but I'm not upset with where I'm at. Um, and I'll get better. Everything, you know, everything works out. I'll get better. So, anyway, you have a wonderful week. I know it's Monday. You got to get out there and do something. Um, follow Keto Connect on YouTube. Um, follow Thomas DeLauer. Check those guys out. Uh, Keto Connect are great. They have some great recipes and great walkthroughs on stuff, and they're regular people. Um, that's my biggest thing is I'm sure they have stuff to sell and they have merch and they have this, but they're the regular people. So if, you know, if they're making something or they're doing something, it's all stuff we can do. You know, it's not, they're not, you know, spending eight hours trying to make, you know, a hamburger. They're, they're doing stuff that a family would do. Um, to me, that's important. So anyway, off my soapbox. Um, I appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll try to do another video later on this week. Maybe some shots from the gym. Uh, who knows? I'm not, uh, not too keen on videotaping myself working out. Nobody really wants to see that. But y'all have a wonderful week. Talk to you later. Bye.